When you try not to make contact with the narcissist, send them this message, guaranteed success. Hello everyone. We've got a fresh video heading your way, and this one dives deep into the realm of narcissists and the art of implementing the no contact rule. Ever wondered how to break free from a narcissist's clutches? Well, but no further, ignoring them outright or going completely silent via the no contact rule has proven to be a remarkably effective escape route. Now, don't get it twisted. Ignoring a narcissist and enforcing a no-contact rule may seem similar, but there's a world of nuance hiding beneath the surface. Picture the no-contact rule as a steel wall, impervious to any form of communication with the narcissist. Cut ties, slam the door shut, and make it impossible for them to stroll back into your life uninvited. On the flip side, ignoring a narcissist is more of a muted dance. They linger in the background, but you purposefully put on the binders, limiting your interactions whenever possible. Bound by circumstance, inevitable run-ins at work, no problem. Stick to cut, emotionless exchanges, don't yield an inch to their manipulative ways. Here's the deal whether you opt for ignoring or the no-contact rule, the key lies in the messages you're sending. We're talking critical, ice-cold truths that narcissists can't stand to admit. Distance amps up the volume of your message, leaving nowhere for them to hide. Friend, partner, co-worker doesn't matter. Narcissists are universal, but so is your power to silence them. Keep up the radio silence and watch as the simple act of ignoring or cutting ties sends a message even a narcissist can't deny. The more you disappear, the harder it is for them to escape the truth, no matter how wildly they scramble to justify your choice. Taking the plunge into no-contact territory or simply ignoring a narcissist sends them a few bold, unmistakable messages that will leave them reeling. Buckle up, my friend, because we're about to break it down. Message number one. I don't need you to thrive. You're shining a spotlight on your independence and flourishing life without them. No time, help or advice required on your stage exit left, narcissist. Next up, message number two. Newsflash, you don't have power over me. Narcissists love playing puppet master, dictating which social ties to keep or cut. By giving them the cold shoulder, you're snipping the strings and putting the power firmly back in your hands. You're calling the shots, not waiting around for their next move. Message three is a gut punch to the narcissist's ego. You, my friend, don't matter. They crave attention more than a lost puppy, but by icing them out, you're making it crystal clear that you don't value their opinions or excuses. They've made their bed, but you're refusing to lie in it. And finally, behold message four, the royal flush of anti-narcissist maneuvers. You've lost your grip on my attention. Surmounting their web of lies and manipulation, you've emerged stronger and wiser. Recognizing their true colors, you've chosen not to tolerate their toxicity, leaving them bereft of their favorite plaything your reactions. There you have it, a quartet of fierce reminders that'll knock some sense into even the smoothest narcissists, letting them know they've met their match. As you step away from a narcissist, flipping the script on their twisted expectations, you'll leave an indelible mark on their fragile ego. They'll be scrambling to concoct wild explanations for your unyielding rejection. Playing innocent, they'll pin your departure on delusion, conveniently overlooking the chaos they sown. That confusion will only deepen as you maintain that steely no-contact stance or continue to ignore their existence. Narcissists are notorious for their stubborn resilience, but that's their burden to bear, not yours. It's imperative to kick narcissists to the curb, crushing their hopes of regaining a foothold in your life. Stay vigilant against conniving tactics, sinister mind games, or pleas for a second chance. That potent quartet of messages we brewed earlier will only deliver a lasting punch if you stand your ground. It's no walk in the park, but cutting the rope that binds you to a narcissist's ball and chain is crucial for a healthy, happy life. We all deserve relationships that make us feel secure, confident, and cherished. Narcissist-free zones, if you will. Navigating the minefield of narcissism is possible when you follow the sage advice laid out in this episode. Embrace self-care, lean on your support network, 
and seek professional help if needed. And with that, we wrap up this enlightening session. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Keep your eyes peeled for more illuminating content coming your way soon. Stay strong.